At the moment, you will find that many companies, uh, the wide variation in how good they are at using and exploiting the digital technologies. Um, and there needs to be a much more consistent approach to how these technologies are used. And so the use of standards will be really vital in achieving that. We've got something called robot ethics that came out this year which means that when people are designing robots and the operation of robots, they can do so in a way which the end result is more ethical or, or can be guaranteed to be ethical and uh, it behaves as people would expect and doesn't have horrible, unwanted consequences. Rolls-Royce um, are a big uh, partner of ours, uh, collaborators of ours. They are digital pioneers and so they are helping us, particularly with our collaboration with the high value manufacturing catapult, in really working out what the best practice should look like and they will help us and guide us in achieving that. Big companies are generally very good at this and they don't need our help to write the standards necessarily. But they're running into a barrier where the progress is stunted a little bit by the suppliers and the collaborators not being quite as good as them. So if they can work with their suppliers to improve their capabilities in digital adoption and the practices required to do that, the best way of doing that is through a consensus-based standard or best practice. It's very important because um, obviously you need to manufacture to certain standards because you're going to be supplying people who require the goods to be manufactured to those standards. And we employ 5750, um, 14001 is also becoming very important because of the environmental issues. Uh, our customers, want to, they want to meet 14,001, so they want to use suppliers that are using 14,001 as well. We have to use standards. Um, uh, there are standards to cover safety in ultrasound, um, and we have to adhere to those standards when we make measurements for customers to satisfy regulatory agencies. If you manufacture to a recognised standard, then people are far more likely to buy your equipment because they trust in what you're manufacturing then, don't they? They know that there's a process that has to be followed, there's traceability back through the system, and if there are any issues, it's going to be sorted out properly. Knowledge of the standards will, will help us to get business, uh, in particular with one of my colleagues who sits on one of the IEC standards committees. We have a route to getting up-to-date information. We use standards to ensure that our customers get what they want. They're going to fit our product on their machine. So they, they want to be sure that it complies to the recent standards, so their machine is compliant as well, but also that it's going to work and not let them down in the future as well. So it's all part of the same process. It's all about trust. Essentially through my colleague who sits on the standards committee, he will, he will feed through the most up-to-date information and he has also been instrumental in developing new parts of those standards. If companies want to get involved in standards creation, yeah. they can do so in a number of ways. They can come to our website and comment on drafts of international standards or European standards or British standards or they can suggest new ones themselves. More interestingly they can come and join one of our committees and get involved in that directly in driving both British and international standard development that way. The advantage of doing that is twofold. They can get accepted and seen internationally as the leaders in the particular area of best practice um, and they can also use it as an opportunity to network with their peers within industry.